Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you guys and oh my goodness, I know it's been so long since I've done a haul, I just really haven't had the time to squeeze them into my videos and I actually didn't end up hauling any of my Christmas kits because I just wanted to start planning so I just kind of um, did not include them but today I have so much stuff as you can see. This is quite a large pile. I've got all sorts of things from stickers to planner books to um, clips and charms and die cuts, both stuff that I purchased and stuff that was kindly sent to me. Um, I'm actually going to break this up into two parts just because I have a MacBook Air and it doesn't have like a lot of, I don't know, processing space or whatever. And so once my videos get past like 15 to 20 minutes, um, my computer slows down a lot and it's really hard to edit. So for my own sanity, I'm gonna do this in two parts so that I can keep them um, shorter and that it's easier to edit. So um, I'm going to start with this top half right now. I kind of already sorted them into two piles and um, I'll save that for the next video. Okay, the first shop that I have here is Hazel Sticker, and oh, this is also from her shop. Um, I made a purchase, I think a couple weeks ago, and she sent along a ton of goodies and also sent me a holiday kit um, or like a wintry kit that I'm really excited to share with you guys. It's silver foiled and super gorgeous. So let me just start with the little icons first. Um, here I've got a little, oh, I don't know what it is. It's either a die cut or a sticker, I can't quite tell, but it's um, like a little planner, which is so cute. And then we have a sheet of sample with some tech stickers on this page. I ordered a sheet of these little laptop stickers. I find myself always needing different laptop stickers because um, I use them to mark a lot of different things. Um, I also grabbed a sheet of these televisions as well as some cars. I find that these are really great to pull in for a variety of different things and it comes with like this little neutral palette. Um, and then Hazel Sticker has some of my very favorite food stickers. She pretty much has any kind of food you could want. Um, so if you're looking for any type of food, I highly suggest checking out her shop. Um, so I picked up a few sheets that I don't have already. Um, I got this sheet of Taiwanese food and I actually purchased this um, right after I got back from Taiwan and I was starting to memory plan all of my spreads from when I was there and I had to wait until I got these in the mail before I could start planning because this is pretty much like half of the food that I had when I was there. So it just comes with a variety of all these Taiwanese goodies. And then um, I also picked up a sheet of these beer stickers. Of course, you guys who have watched me for a while know that I can always use a good beer sticker. I got a sheet of these Taiwanese hot pot stickers and as you can see I already used two of them in my planning but it does come with like two different types and then all these like drinks in the center. I got a sheet of these foiled me time stickers. I just thought they're really pretty and I got them in gold foil and I think I picked up I want to say I picked up this pastel rainbow color sheet of gold foiled hearts, but she sent along a couple extra ones, which was so sweet of her. So thank you so much, Ada. She's so, so kind. And I love this um, pink color sheet. I think this is like all the perfect shades of pink that I use frequently. And then um, she also sent along a few of her other sheets. So uh, she has a line of these little egg characters and um, the egg is so cute doing different things. So this one's the working eggies and it's like in front of a computer and doing different things. This one is me most of the time because I either can't get something to work on my computer or um, I'm just like upset about writing reports or something. And then here we have a sheet of Valentine eggs and the egg is um, holding a bouquet of flowers. Here it is with a bacon. This one is when you see bay. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. And then just all these other different little varieties, which are so cute. Here we have some egg emojis and so lots of different facial expressions, both happy, sad, silly, angry, all sorts. Here is a sheet of self-care eggs, and I love this one. It's so cute and comes with all these different things, like this one's looking in the mirror and giving itself a kiss. Here we have one in the bath. This is relaxation. Um, I think this one is just doing a happy dance, maybe, and then this one's snuggling up with a book. And here at the bottom, I love this. This is like her egg gang. You know, she's got all her egg friends behind her, and I love that so much. So um, these are all super cute. Okay, Ada also sent along a kit. Sorry, I just had to move some stuff out of the way. Okay, along with the kit, she included um, these glitter headers, and these are actually like on real glitter. They're not like the faux glitter, and it's like a really quite thick um, 
quite thick header because it's like actual glitter. So I actually don't have anything like this. So I think this is super cool. And then the kit that she sent along is called Winter Blossom. It is in a silver foil, if you can see. Um, and it's definitely very wintry. It would have been really perfect for Christmas, but I did already have all my Christmas kits. Um, so I'm just going to use this sometime, I think in January or maybe February. Um, but yeah, we've got two quote boxes. This one says, let it snow. And this one says, be jolly, pick holly. Um, and then we've got the cutest little snowman and the little bear at the bottom. Oh, there's another quote box. This one says, hello winter. I didn't even see that. And this one on the side is a Monday through Sunday tracker. On this page, we have half boxes. We've got third boxes. Some, I think these are headers. Let me check. Okay. So they're like thicker than headers. They're kind of like a quarter box size like this. And then here at the bottom, we've got some different patterned flags. And the last sheet here has, oh my gosh, this weekend banner is so cute. I love the little dangles. We've got some um, deco icons. We have some heart check flags, sidebar trackers, little things, and then a ton of icons here on the side, which you can pretty much pull in for anything. So we've got like a birthday cake, two workout stickers, a little movie marquee, laundry sticker, etc. And this is super cute. I think this is in her uh, mini kit format. So it just comes with the three sheets, which is perfect. I think I can probably find some washi to pull in to match. So yes, that is everything from Hazel Sticker. And as you guys probably already know, I absolutely love her shop. Don't forget to check it out if you are ever in need of food stickers. The next kit that I've got here is from Shop Jessica Hearts, which is one of my all-time favorite shops. I use her kits all the time. And this one is actually my New Year's kit. Um, it's a little different. I decided to go with something kind of not traditional. Um, I think usually I like something a bit more flashy and more party, but this year, because I spent New Year's with my family in Taiwan, um, I decided to go for something that was just a little more low key. So this is called New Year, New Adventure. And the quote box here says, say yes to new adventures. And it's very like trash travel wanderlust theme, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and so yeah, here are the eight full boxes. And as usual, she um, has this like formatting where she has four on one page and then she includes like the little strip with the other four. On this page, we also have the half boxes, appointment labels, quarter boxes, and this weekend banner. I love that her weekend banners always match the theme or like the style of the kit. On this page, we have the bottom washi, which is like this palm frond photograph design. Um, and I really love this. Again, it gives me like all the wanderlust vibes. And then we have some circle icons, a habit tracker, some flags, um, some washi strips, icons, two more quarter boxes, um, some other flags to cover up the top right here. And then and um, a happy mail like text sticker in the corner. On this page, we have lots of functional items. We've got different headers, little things, a sidebar tracker to do, um, three heart checklists, and then regular three heart checklists, and another quarter box. So I always purchase her kits in the mini kit format. Um, it works really well for me. It comes with like all the stickers that I need, and I'll just pull in a few things as needed. Um, I also went ahead and picked up this sheet of glitter quarter boxes. Um, it says glitter quarter boxes, but these aren't glitter, just the one at the bottom is. But I really like this color palette, this pink and the gray neutral. I think it would go really well with this kit if I needed any more boxes to pull in. Um, so yeah, that is going to be my New Year's kit. It's going to be the next one that I plan. So I'm really looking forward to using it. The next kit that I purchased is from Hello Petite Paper. I absolutely love this shop. She has some really great hand-drawn, like unique designs and her kits are always gorgeous. Um, so I'm really excited to share this kit with you guys. So my order came with this little um, journaling card maybe, or it's like a business card, I think, because on the back is like her um, shop name and everything. And then it's really pretty with this like foiled um, text that says happy holidays. And then we have a little sampler here that has all these pink stickers, super cute. And also this big, die cut, which I don't really use die cuts because I don't really journal anymore. I used to have my Hobonichi that I used last year in 2018, but I haven't really been using it. So I didn't purchase one for this year. Okay. So the kit that I got is like Fox themed. I think it's called Oh, it's called Foxy, um, super appropriate. And here we've got all the full boxes. I love this combination of the pink and the navy blue. And then this quote box here says, stay curious. And this fox is just so adorable. I love this so much. I feel like I could have a room that is like totally fox themed like this and I'd be super happy. Here we have the little things and eight half boxes. I love her half boxes because as you can see, all the designs are different and they're all unique. They have like, some have like the little scallop edges, some have like a gold, um, glitter edge and then some are just more plain but um, yeah they're all different here we have the heart check boxes 
On this page, we have the bottom washi, which comes with two strips. You can use just one or the other or both. And then we have a lot of washi strips over here, as well as some little icons, or I'm sorry, some deco pieces in the corner. Here we have a sheet of headers and they come in all these different colors as well as a set of glitter headers kind of in between. And the last page here has a lot of functional items. We've got um, the scallop heart checklist, which are really, really pretty. We've got some flags, we have circle icons, build do stickers, this really pretty weekend banner. It's like so dainty and has like all these little florals that are so pretty. We have quarter boxes, these asterisks, and then, um, did I miss anything? I think I got it all. So that is the full kit. I'm pretty sure I purchased this as a full kit. Um, I think she was having a Black Friday sale, I believe is when I purchased this. And so I definitely had to snag this because I've actually been eyeing it for a couple years now and I've been wanting it, but um, I kind of kept putting it off. And so I finally decided to make a purchase this year and I love it so, so much. The next kit that I got is from a shop that's new to me. I actually discovered it while I was just browsing on Etsy for a particular kind of kit. I'll explain in just a second, um, but it's called Queen City Designs Co. Um, my order came with this little business card and then she also included, which I thought was so sweet, a little personalized die cut with my name and it's like in um, this pink foil, this hot pink foil, which I think is so fabulous. And I just thought it was so sweet that she makes these little customized um, freebies. And then my order also also came with this little uh, freebie sheet as well so it's got like all these different icons I think this little banner is so cute and then we've got a full box um, okay so this is the kit that I picked up I got it specifically for my boyfriend's birthday week which was like two weeks ago in mid-January and um, for his birthday week I usually like to choose something that reminds me of him and he really really likes space it's not something I'm super fond of. I don't really care too much for it, um, but that's kind of like his thing. That's something he's really interested in. So anyways, on Etsy, I just searched like space themed uh, weekly planner kit or something. And this was one of the options that popped up and I really liked it. So here we have all of the full boxes and again, very like space themed or sky themed. And then um, the quote box here says, look at the stars, look how they shine for you, which is a Coldplay song lyric. Um, here we've got all the half boxes, the quarter boxes, a weekend banner, and then a f uh, two flags. And on here we have the headers and the little things. This page here has the bottom washi as well as a lot of different washi strips here. Um, I believe they're all cut to different sizes and so you have some that are thinner and some that are thicker which I really like because I like pulling in um, boxes of different sizes when I plan. And I also really like this bottom washi. I think it's like a really cool color effect. And then on this page we got lots of functional items. We have a ton of text stickers and the um, lettering text that she uses is really cute. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Let me just move it closer. But I really like this font. And um, we've got some hydrate stickers, some icons, habit trackers. I think these are more like washi strips. Oh no, I think... I think this one is a full box. This is more washi strips. We've got a set of date covers, two bill due stickers, some flags, and then a rescheduled and a canceled sticker. And then I think this got accidentally included in my order. I thought maybe it was a freebie, but it's just a sheet of full boxes. And oh my gosh, this kit is so cute. I didn't see this in her shop, but I totally would have purchased this if I did. It's so adorable and perfect for winter. Um, but yeah, I just got this one little full box page and it's so cute. Um, it says the greatest gift of life is friendship. I want to go on her shop again and see if it's back on there or if I can find it this time. Um, Cause I love these little critters. I think they're adorable and I want to know what the rest of the kit looks like. So anyways, that is my, um, the kit that I purchased, which is again, the space themed kit that I am planning to use. And again, it's from Queen City Design Co. Um, and yeah, I'm going to use this pretty soon. All right, so the remaining stickers that are in this haul were ones that were sent to me by the shop owners who so graciously and kindly reached out to see if I would try out their stickers. And I'm always super excited too because I do love trying out new shops and everything. And I love getting to share some new shops with you guys. Um, so here we go. The first shop here, unfortunately, I don't see um, a shop name. I think uh, she just started her shop. This is from Chiara, who is from Italy. Um, she's been a subscriber of mine who's so, so sweet and frequently just like leaves a little comment here and there and I really appreciate that. So um, it was really sweet when she sent along some stickers that she made. Um, I don't believe that she has a shop yet. So if she ever does open one, I'll let you guys know. But what she sent me, oh, she also clipped the stickers with the cutest paper clips here. 
this one's like a star. I don't know if you can see. They're like gold paper clips. And I think this one's also a star or maybe like a guitar. I'm not quite sure. Here we've got one that's like a pineapple. Again, so cute. And then this one is a bow. So I love these little paper clips that she used. Um, she sent along a couple sheets of these like books and coffee stickers, which is so perfect to mark like every, anytime that I go to like a bookstore and these are the same, but just kind of reversed. So, uh, more of these ones and then one row of this one. So I got a few sheets of those. I got a few sheets of these pen stickers. I love these. I think they're gonna be great for marking like any testing appointments that I have or any meetings. I do prefer to write in pen, so that's really perfect. And I got a sheet of these colored ones, a sheet of the um, black and white ones, and then these ones just say like notes and to do. Oh, and one more sheet that is kind of a mix of the colors and then the um, blank and then the ones with the writing inside. Okay, and then the last set of stickers that she sent, or I think there's two more, um, these ones are like the bow stickers. So I think they're like bow dividers that you can put um, in between like different sections of your planner if you wanna divide things out. So she's got quite a few different color series, which is awesome. And then the last stickers here are the happy birthday icons. And so again, they come in just all sorts of different colors. Um, this last one is super fun. It's got like different background uh, designs. So they all say happy birthday. So yeah, thank you so much, Kiara. That was so sweet of you to send all these stickers all the way from Italy. I appreciate that so much. And these are honestly so cute. Um, I'm definitely excited to pull them into my planning. The next stickers that I've got here are from a new shop. It's called The Sticker Jungle. And um, I think these shop owners are two girls who are in Portugal. So this came all the way from Portugal. Thank you so much. Um, I think the girls' names are Madalena and Mariana. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. I'm so sorry if I didn't. But um, okay, normally I don't show like the notes that come with my little um, surprise packages, but you guys have to see this handwriting. I know you guys love writing as much as I do. And this is like the most amazing writing I've ever seen. It's so perfect and tiny. And I don't know how she gets it so perfect and straight and everything. But I am just so impressed. So anyways, had to show you guys that because I'm just absolutely obsessed. Um, and anyways, the stickers that I got, she sent along a lot of like little Christmas samplers, which unfortunately I didn't have a chance to use this year, but I can always hold on to them for next Christmas. Um, we've got these three little sampler sheets and I love that they're cut out into like a little penguin, a bear, and then this one's also like a penguin. Um, the sheets that she sent me, so definitely a sheet of coffee stickers for sure. She, um, I think Madalena uh, watches my videos so she knows exactly what I like. And then here is a sheet of happy mail stickers. These envelopes are so cute, these mailers, and then these envelopes are just really cute and I believe they hand draw all of their stickers so they're all super unique here is their mascot I think it's this little penguin I'm not quite sure of the penguin's name but um he's holding like all the happy mail so it's super cute this one is doing laundry no I'm sorry, this one is a planner penguin. So it's got all its rolls of washi tape and like washi samples. This one, I love it because it's like surrounded by like a pile of washi tape. Here we've got the self-care face mask um, penguin. And this one's so cute because it's like all um, light blue. It's got like the face mask all over. It's so adorable. Here we've got like a little heart checklist or not really a heart, I guess, oval checklist. And it has like the little panda at the top. And then these are like tiny boxes where you can just jot some down um, inside and then here we've got the panda um, on these quarter boxes and then some just on their own these look like little emoji pandas so yeah that's everything that I got from the sticker jungle um, she did say uh, Madalena did say that they would be um, including more stickers into their shop and they sent me this probably a month ago so I'm sure they have a lot more um, stickers to choose from so that is everything from the sticker jungle the last thing I have for this haul is actually a planner. So this was sent to me by the company Go Girl and they sent me two different colors, this purple and this like turquoise color, which is really pretty. And I just have my Erin Condren behind for sizing reference so you can see how big it is. It's just slightly smaller than my Erin Condren. Um, I'm sure there's a name for this size and I just don't quite know. It says compact size, 7.5 times five inches. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if that's like a5, A4, B5, I don't know any of those like letters and numbers, um, but yeah, so here's 
what it is compared to my Erin Condren. And then I'm going to move this out of the way just so I can show this a little bit better. Okay, so I've only opened this one because they are, they are the same thing and I didn't feel like I needed to open both. I'm thinking I could probably do a giveaway for this one because again, I don't have a need for two of the same planner, um, but I will go ahead and show you guys what is included. So the planner, um, it's like really soft on the outside. I don't know what this material is. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm just so not like technical with knowing, you know, all the ins and outs of stuff. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this little, this little ad thing here. And then the first page here says how to use this planner. Step one, create a vision for your life and set your goals. Step two, choose your five most important one-year goals and break them down. Step three, learn new habits and skills, improve your life, be grateful for what you have, overcome negative thoughts. And then um, step four, use monthly and weekly layouts to incorporate your goals into your daily agenda. So it seems like it's very much like a goal settings or like goal-based agenda. Uh, planner, which is awesome because that's not really what I use my Erin Condren for. Um, I do a lot of memory planning in my Erin Condren, so it's more like looking back rather than looking forward. Um, so here, the first page, we have just kind of like an informational section if you ever lose it so somebody can get it back to you. And then here is a sheet that says, the first page says, my life's big picture. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I would put there. And then this one says, my goals. And then it breaks it down into different life areas. So the first one is like health, fitness, and beauty. We've got family, friends, and romance, career, business, and study, fun, recreation, and hobbies, heart and spiritual, financial, and personal de development. And then you just write three things of what you want or what you want to accomplish in each of these areas. And then um, it says accomplished by, so then you just list like when you want to be able to accomplish each of these things, um, maybe like a ballpark, because I know it's hard to kind of really set like definitive goals like that, but maybe that's what you're supposed to do to achieve them. And then here we've got like my top five goals for this year. And so you're just working on five main things and then the major action steps to make that happen. This is actually so cool because I'm not really one to set goals all the time. I just kind of get a little overwhelmed by it sometimes. So I feel like this is a great way to map it out. Um, oh, speaking of maps, um, this page here is called my mind map, which I think you can just use to um, kind of brainstorm maybe what you want to do. Here is my strategy, my daily rituals. And so, ooh, I like these rituals. Morning routine, evening routine, I am grateful for, and my affirmations. Oh my goodness, these are awesome. And then, oh, this is where the month and the year starts. So I think it looks like all the monthly stuff is here at the beginning. And then you move into the weekly. Okay, so I haven't really had a chance to look through this. So from this page to this page here is all monthly. And I think there's more than 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. So actually I think there's exactly 12. So you just write in your own month and the year because you don't have to use this from January to December. Um, you can really kind of fill this out however you want because it's all like empty spaces. This, this kind of reminds me of like a bullet journal, but already kind of filled in so that you're not creating everything from the ground up. Like it already has like these boxes and where you just fill things in. So on this monthly page, it says this month's goals, life balance goals, which is kind of a good idea. And then, yeah, and then it moves into the next month. Um, once you get to the weekly pages, let's see, starts here. Um, here we've got Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday are kind of, um, smaller, you know, they share one line. So it's probably really great for work if you have mostly like work related items that you got to get done. Um, on this page, we have this week's priorities and it has like five, um, five things that, that you can list out. We've got a to-do list and a habit tracker. So it gives you five spaces to track all your habits. And uh, for me right now, I'm just tracking working out, but I really could add like water intake, um, mood and other things that I could think about tracking. And then there's just kind of a blank space here at the bottom. I think you can just kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, and these are all the same, I think. Oh, and it comes with like these three ribbon things or whatever bookmark things so that you can keep track of maybe where you are in the month, in the day, and then I don't know, one other for something else. Okay. So these are all weekly pages. Is it all weekly through the end? Let me just check. Yeah, pretty much. Um, at the very back here is just some like dotted 
grid lines. I think you can just use it as a brain dump or draw pictures or whatever you want to do with this. And then at the end, let's see. Oh, there's like a little pocket here. Oh, how cool. Okay. So in the pocket, again, I haven't quite looked through this. So this is kind of a surprise for me. We have a little card that says thank you for your purchase and then a little sheet of icon stickers so they're like all rainbow colors and we've got like books clinking glasses hearts yoga oh that's a good one dumbbells uh, meal presents etc and i think that's it that comes in the little pocket so anyways that is everything that is included in this little go girl planner I actually really like it. I love the goal pages because again, that's not really something I'm good at or like I'm inclined to do. So I feel like I want to take some time to kind of sit down and maybe plan out what I do want for myself this year. Um, because I think like usually before you realize that the year is over and I don't know if I always accomplish a whole lot. So yeah, I think I want to sit down and just kind of maybe plot things out for this year. Um, and yeah, I don't see really a need, a need for both of these planners and they were just so kind and sent me two. So I do want to do a giveaway for this one. And um, I'm thinking what I would like to do for the giveaway is if you are interested in entering for a chance to win this planner, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below, just kind of telling me um, what is one of the goals that you have for 2019. Um, because I am just kind of like blanking and I can't really think of anything that I specifically want to do. So I figured I can get some great ideas from you guys. So yeah, just leave me a comment with some, um, a goal that you want to achieve or something that you've been thinking about. And then I'll leave it open for like a week. I'll leave all the information down below. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking about this right now. So I haven't planned anything out, but I will have it in the description box below if you want any, um, specific information. So yeah, thank you so much to go girl planner for sending these to me. I can't wait to, um, try it out and and oh, also it comes with a little pen loop here on the side so you can just put your little pen in and take it on the go if you want to. And yeah, so that is everything for today for, I mean, for this haul, at least, um, I do have part two that I'm going to film right now. I just can't, um, like I said, I can't edit all in one. And so, yeah, thank you so much for watching today. I know that was kind of a lot. Um, I just, again, haven't done a haul in so long that I've gathered a ton of stickers to share. Be on the lookout for part two coming soon, and I will talk to you guys then. Bye.